On August 8, 2024, the world's most powerful solar telescope made history. From Hawaii, the Inoue Solar Telescope captured an X-class solar flare in unmatched detail, revealing plasma loops as thin as 21 kilometers, once only theorized. This breakthrough opens a new window into how its flares form and evolve, with direct impact on forecasting the space weather that can disrupt life here on Earth. Let's explore what this discovery means. The observation began as routine monitoring at the Daniel K. Inoue Solar Telescope, located on the summit of Haleakala Volcano in Hawaii. On that day, the conditions were near perfect, stable atmosphere, clear skies, and the telescope operating at full precision. During the session, an X1.3 class solar flare erupted. X-class flares are the most powerful category, capable of releasing vast amounts of energy into space. What made this moment historic is that it was the first time Inoue captured such a flare with its full resolution capability. The telescope's visible broadband imager, designed to capture light at hydrogen wavelengths, recorded plasma structures with remarkable clarity. The images showed thread-like loops arcing across the corona, sharply defined against the surrounding brightness. Instead of broad, indistinct shapes, each loop was revealed as a distinct structure. Measurements indicated average widths of about 48 kilometers, with the narrowest reaching 21 kilometers, the smallest coronal loops ever imaged. For decades, scientists debated whether loops could be this fine, but now they had direct evidence. The telescope's engineering was key to this achievement. Its 4.24-meter off-axis primary mirror, advanced adaptive optics, allow it to observe the sun without distortion or overheating. Sunlight is guided across 10 mirrors before reaching the instruments, ensuring maximum precision. Lead author Cole Tambury, a PhD student at the University of Colorado Boulder, described the discovery as a turning point. What had started as a normal observation became the first time scientists could study a flare at such a fine scale effectively opening a new era in solar physics. For decades, solar physicists theorized that the sun's coronal loops were made of thin strands, but telescopes lacked the power to resolve them. Models suggested widths between 10 and 100 kilometers, but these remained predictions rather than observations. Inoue's images confirmed those theories. By capturing loops as fine as 21 kilometers, the telescope revealed that flare structures are built from narrow, organized strands rather than broad, featureless arcs. This finding has direct implications for understanding magnetic reconnection, the process where magnetic field lines snap and reconnect, releasing the energy that powers solar flares. The smaller the scale of reconnection, the more detail scientists can add to their models of how flares release such massive energy in such short times. The imagery also validates years of computational simulations. Many models predicted the presence of fine-scale strands, but without proof, they were considered speculative. Now, those predictions are supported by direct evidence. Researchers can refine simulations with accurate measurements, bridging theory and reality. The loop's diversity was another revelation. The August 8th flare displayed compact triangular clusters near its base, long sweeping arcs spanning large areas, and overlapping threads that formed complex networks. This variety suggests that flare structures are not uniform, but dynamically shaped by local magnetic conditions. Some scientists now view these loops as the fundamental building blocks of its activity. Just as molecules form from atoms, large-scale flares may emerge from the interplay of countless fine strands. If confirmed, this would represent a paradigm shift in its physics, moving from studying flares as single large events to analyzing the smallest elements that create them. While this discovery advances science, it also carries very practical significance. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections are the drivers of space weather, which can disrupt technology on Earth. The risks are well documented, 
In 1989, a geomagnetic storm caused a nine-hour blackout across Quebec. In 2003, a storm damaged satellites and forced airlines to reroute flights. And in 1859, the Carrington event, the most powerful solar storm recorded, disrupted telegraph systems and produced auroras visible near the equator. Today, our reliance on technology makes us more vulnerable. Satellites, GPS, aviation, internet infrastructure, and electrical grids all depend on stable conditions in Earth's space environment. Even moderate storms could have cascading effects. By revealing loops at scales of just a few tens of kilometers, the Inouye Telescope provides the detailed data needed to improve forecasting models. Understanding how magnetic reconnection operates at these scales could lead to earlier warnings and more accurate predictions of intensity and impact. The discovery also broadens our view of stars in general. If fine loops are the basic units of our sun's flares, they may also exist in other stars. Studying them could deepen our understanding of stellar activity across the galaxy and help explain how stars influence their planetary systems. The August 8th flare is just the start. With the Inouye Telescope watching for decades and major missions like Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter joining in by 2027, we're closer than ever to uncovering how flares form and spread. These findings not only confirm theories but also strengthen our readiness for its storms, proving our sun still has secrets to reveal. The August 8, 2024 observation gave us the first proof that solar flare loops can be as small as 21 km, confirming decades of theory and opening a new era in their physics. This breakthrough could transform space weather forecasting and our resilience against its storms. Stay with us as we uncover more secrets of the sun. <laughs>